do understand that your fan base full of Kyles, Tanners, and Timothys may not be able to comprehend anything more complex than that. Perhaps you should go back to your roots of calling people the hard R. Oh, he got me, guys. Damn, I'm deactivating. I'm deleting my YouTube channel. Also, don't disrespect my audience. It's not all Timothy's tatters. We got my boy Baljeet in there, too. Come on. Baba Bowie. WestJet. What is up, Obamas and Osamas? WestJet 655, Venezuelan trillionaire here. And today, we're talking about Kai Sinat's cousin who roasted me. Oh. oh, and literally 0% of you are subscribed, so be sure to subscribe. Yeah, yeah. In order to understand some more lore of Kai Sadat's cousin, you gotta watch the average Jonas video. So if you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. I was in WestJet's new YouTube video. Let's try it and rate it 1 through 10. It has found a way to keep his name relevant in the ripe year of 2024. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, bro. Bro, not Kai Sadat too. What the fuck? I will be deducting points for the lack of creativity. I haven't heard that one before. Bro thinks he's report of the week out here reviewing my video. He's the rhetoric reviewer, the comment connoisseur. <laughs> like, I'm done. However, I do understand that your fan base full of Kyles, Tanners, and Timothys may not be able to comprehend anything more complex than that. Perhaps you should go back to your roots of calling people the hard R. Are you rating me or yourself, bro? Come on. And if you gotta bring up something that happened over three years ago in like episode one Valorant before I even did YouTube to prove a point, you sort of lost the case. You're sort of a shit-stained human, and I don't really like you at all. Expected nothing less from a man with a Naruto poster behind him on his wall. Of course, there's nothing wrong with Naruto. Bleach is just 10 times better. And instead of going after me, you try to disrespect my audience. And just because we have a different sense of humor, you don't have to do that. Is that what Naruto would do? No, you're a bitch. You put the hoe in Hokage. Therefore, that shock value that you guys love so much is still there while being able to be interpreted by 13-year-old Kyle who just finished a six-pack of Monster. The fact that he's making assumptions on my audience is a bit crazy. Imagine I did the same to him how he would react. If I said his audience loves basketball, he would probably lose a leg or something. And is okay with it. Why should anybody else be mad? But Who is mad? We're doing a little trolling. We're laughing at these people. I don't think anybody in the world is mad. His girlfriend. Why is he holding Sage Mommy when his girlfriend is literally right next to him? I would KMS. While I do understand that everybody's sense of humor is different, this is indeed crazy. I mean, you got people yelling in all caps. Wait, bro used Hancock as an example? That's my boy. He's a League of Legends troll account. Like, what are you talking about? He's not mad at all. He just hates Sage Mommy. Anyway, Kai Sinat's cousin came out of nowhere, fist swinging, defending average Jonas. And uh, I don't know, maybe he's on his payroll or something. Maybe he wants to get invited to the Valorant, like, creator-only server. Now, those are only two out of multiple tweets expressing distress about this situation. And because of that, I'll be deducting one out of your two points for false information. Bro, get your Naruto summoning jutsu out of here. Are you trying to summon a frog to help you? Or like, what are you doing? Bro took an Andrew Tate body language course. <laughs> With that being said, I do understand why you don't think mad is the best terminology to describe the situation. And to that, I respond with, why do people care so much? West, did you have tweeted about nothing else for the past 24 plus hours, bruh? You, you, you really locked in on this. I can't lie. You really locked. I'm not mad. It's just hilarious. Look at this photo. Then, bro, this is some D1 hating right here. You are in Photoshop, bro. You in Photoshop for real, man. You care that much about the situation. And you're making a TikTok complaining about me doing that. So who's really worse? Your head is shoved so far up your ass. You can't even understand that. Literal ostrich, bro. And it's not difficult to understand why WestJet is obsessed with this situation. He's a creator at the end of the day. He needs clips. He needs clicks. He needs views. He needs all the traction he can get to make the most money out the situation. That is understandable. All right, all right. There is a brain somewhere in there. It might not be close. It might be really far away but it's there. Even though you're still sitting on your high horse, shaking your hands around, looking like somebody who's ready to recruit us to the Church of Scientology or the Latter-day Saints, I guess it's there. To do that at somebody else's expense is indeed crazy to me, but it is understandable why he's doing what he's doing. To do that at somebody else's expense. And there it is, hands in the air. He's such a good guy. He wouldn't do that. Not him, not him person. We don't care. We literally do not care. Because Western has been known to just spur things out of nowhere. And somehow he uh, bangs, bro. Uh, bangs, bro. I was straight up about to revoke my Black Lives Matter membership, but uh, you know he complimented me, so it's staying. Yet again, I'll be deducting one point for false information. You never had a Black Lives Matter membership card, WestJet. As a matter of fact, I did. I wanted it at my local YMCA. I earned it, so play off. Either one, that shit was fake, 
or two, it was given to you by Uncle Ruckus. Boondocks is very goaded. Ironically for you, using Boondocks, we can explain why you made a three minute long video <laughs> talking about this. Of course, I don't expect you to know who that is. In that case, you can just look him up. At the end of the day, I understand why WestJet is so obsessed with this situation. However, if you're not going to gain anything from the situation, why should you care so much? Why should you care so much? Why should you care so much? Average Jonas is pushing 45 years of age and people are so concerned with how he poses for his merchandise photo shoot. Damn, bro, he added 11 years onto Average Jonas. I thought he was 34. 45 is crazy. I know there's a lot of black people that also watch my videos. Shout out to my black homies and saying that they're all Uncle Ruckus would be kind of like weird and insensitive. It's like Joe Biden saying that if you don't vote for him, you're not black. Got more questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. This guy's incredibly hypocritical, and all he really does is, like, morally grandstand on, like, topics and, like, tries to get these, like, plus points by, like, roasting and breaking down my jokes, when in reality, he hasn't made any jokes himself. I understand my jokes might not be a cup of tea for you, but at the end of the day, they are jokes, so this guy making personal attacks on my character, attacking my audience, is very weird. I am indeed revoking my Black Lives Matter membership. Stay classy, stay cool. <laughs> Let's go! Cause I'm feeling like I'm running and I'm feeling like I gotta get away, get away.